How you doing guys and welcome back and yes, here we go This is gonna be a multi uh, step video because this is a do-it-yourself remove bottom paint uh, I know if you guys follow me already and I've heard the videos the only thing I don't like about my boat is the bottom paint so I decided go ahead and take on the challenge. So right now uh, I kind of already started it if you guys notice I already took off some of the bottom paint uh, right there and this one actually I did a little bit of um, buffing already. Let me get a close up. That's uh, more or less the final product. And there, I'm working my way towards the front. So that's the only thing I didn't like about my boat. It was a uh, bottom paint. To me, it makes the boat look older because I keep it on a trailer. If it was on the water, it wouldn't matter. But since it's on a trailer, you can see it. And definitely, I hate the water line when people paint it like that. See, what I'm planning to do is, I'm gonna keep this bottom paint. I mean, I'm gonna sand it and repaint it black again, but I'm gonna bring it up here and bring it all the way up here. So it makes a design. So it doesn't look like a cutoff thing there. So, but I am gonna take off the side one. That definitely gonna take off because I wanna see the white line. If you guys notice my boat, you guys notice right there, my boat has a white line on the bottom, but you can't really tell because it's black. So, and at the same time, I'm going ahead and giving it a buff. You see how the black now is coming shiny and the yellow? So it's not that hard. It's not that hard. I, I thought it was would be harder. I did that in about two hours. So I think in a whole day's job, I'll get it done. And it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm using. I'm using uh, 80 grid sandpaper. Uh, I'm using 80 grid. Then I'm jumping over to uh, 120. And then from 120, I'm doing 320 and then from 320 i'm doing 400 and then 400 i'm jumping to uh 800 and then from there i'm doing rough i mean i'm doing uh polish rubbing polish i mean rummy compound and uh and i'm using this one uh it's pretty rough it's made for heavy oxidation so it kind of works like a, like a, like a very fine sandpaper so to bring the shine and the luster back and then uh, once I get all that, then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a last uh, high polish, um, high polish um, gloss at the end. But you don't need expensive tools, you know. Uh, I'm doing it with, uh, you know, right here. I'm doing it with this, this one. That's the 80 grid there. This is the one I just added on, but because I, uh, I ran out of the little pads, and that's my buffer there. Tool wise, that's probably what 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. So about 150 bucks plus the sandpaper. Uh, so it's not that bad and the rubbing compound and all that. But the trick is, it's a lot of labor, you know. You gotta sit there and grind and grind away. Uh, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's doable, you could do it yourself. So um, yep, I'm working on that today. And it's time to get dusty. Um, and I'm not sure if you can notice on the video or not, but there's actually like five different layers of bottom paint there's a pink there's a black one there's a red one there's a white one and there's a gray one so let's uh, see black uh black red gray white and yeah there's two two, two blacks so that's five so about five layers of bottom paint so it's it's pretty rough but i'm gonna show you guys it's not that bad and this is a regular gp uh home depot Sander. There you go, you see it? There's a trick to this. You have to keep the sander flat. You cannot go like this, because if you go like that, you're gonna go into the gel coat and then you're gonna burn into the fiberglass. So you gotta make sure you keep your sander flat, flat as possible. And then just put a little bit of force, and then you'll see that eats it up. I'm using right now 
I think this is 60 grit sandpaper. So you see how fast it's going. <clears throat> so it's not that hard. And then you see how you can tell the different colors there. That's when you get the 800 and you sand it all in. And then it actually takes off the oxidation of the old gel coat. And then this does, um, you know, it will show up. It will match like the back one did. Because, yeah, you can tell here. So you can tell here the different colors of gel coat. But once I get it with... um. With the 800, you know, you'll see it. And actually, I forgot to put on my mask. <clears throat> because yesterday when I started to do it, I got my nose full of dust. So I'm going to put a rag or a mask or something. And I forgot. So let me go do that now. But you can see, it's not that bad. You see, that's the fee. See, you can't tell the color difference. Because once you sand, you know, 800 all the way up, and then you rub it, you do a rubbing compound, it... Uh, you know, it matches in the color. So there you go. So um, it's gonna be, I mean, it's, it's labor involved, but if you're not afraid of doing work and dust, you could do it yourself. Now the bottom, the bottom all the way at the bottom, there I'm planning to do is sand as much as I can just to keep it smooth. Because right now it's really rough, it's too many layers. So I'm just gonna uh, sand it smooth and then repaint it. But I'm only gonna repaint this. I'm not. I'm gonna keep the side, the side white. So um, I think it's. You know, I'm gonna try it uh, because basically I just I just hate the water line when the boat sits in the water or on the trailer. I don't mind the the bottom of the boat being black. You know. Um, but you know, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And at the same time, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sand this too, and then use epoxy paint to paint the the trim tabs and i'm gonna go ahead and get match the suzuki uh paint too and paint that too and then sand this and then paint it too so hopefully you know i get it to look like i want to uh because i just hate the way it looks out of the water in the water i don't mind it i just out of the water it looks to me it looks ugly so um that's gonna be my uh, <clears throat> that's gonna be my uh work i guess for the week you guys notice yeah this is the other side this is how i used to look that's how i used to look like that to me i hate that line especially towards the front it's like uh i don't know why you know i don't know why people you know see that see how that, this right here like this and this i want it to come all the way up here i want to go all the way up there with black so when the boat's running in the water it doesn't look uh that crazy and you see you guys notice my boat has a white line on the bottom but you can't really see it because the black the bottom paint covers it up you know so that's doing some uh changes to the boat to the outside because the inside doesn't really uh, need that much like you guys notice the boat is really good condition so you know i keep myself entertained and i don't have to go to the gym just by applying all the pressure here i don't need to go to the gym but hopefully it comes out good uh, worst case scenario doesn't come out good then i have to pay somebody to actually paint it so you know worth a try i didn't waste that much maybe 200 dollars so uh can beat that so let me go back to work and put on a mask because um i'm sucking up all the dust <laughs> This is a. I actually ran out of the actual little uh, triangle thing, so I'm using this uh, round uh, pad. But uh, I gotta go to the store and get some more. So this is a 320, 320 grid that we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna see. Uh, it's gonna smooth it out even more. Just so now you can go up. It's gonna help you blend. It's gonna help you blend uh, the old yellow with the new yellow.
it is so you could go up a little more because it kind of uh brings out the brings out the old the new uh i mean the old gel coat that's brighter on the bottom so just do it a little bit though because you gotta come back with a with a 400 the 400 is the one that's gonna help you match and the 800 is gonna bring even better so uh there you go it's just a lot of labor but you know it's manageable so that's yes, if you have time and, and you know and you want to do it yourself i want to do it myself i like it already i like it already you can see the white line so i'm gonna keep going done there you go i just gotta go ahead and do the final steps man ready to go feel good it wasn't that bad it took me about two hours to do this so it's not bad okay what i'm doing right now i'm using the 800 grid wet sandpaper and what this does is it's uh it smooths out the 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 roughness of the coarse sandpaper before so this is like another um you know making the jellico smoother so when i come back with uh come on king when i come back with the king when i come back with the rubbing compound it'll be a lot smoother so you gotta do this and actually this one brings the takes off the oxidation of the the jelko you know and i know you're supposed to use a block but i like using my hands because i can feel more the, the imperfections you know so everybody has their own techniques so yeah this makes it smooth so when i come back with uh when i come back with a rubbing compound it's gonna look shiny and brand new I mean, there's a lot of steps and a lot of labor, but if you have the time and the willpower, you can do it. It's not hard at all. See, now you get to see the design of the, of the boat. Because I was hating that black line on the bottom. It was, it was annoying me. So now you're able to see the white on the bottom. That's what I wanted to do. So let me go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to rinse it off a little bit. There's my water holes. Let me show you guys. Once I do the rubbing compound, it should look like that. Once I get it with the rubbing compound. Hopefully, that's gonna be the final product right there. 
once I get the rubbing compound going, that's gonna be the final product. There you go. It's not bad at all. All the way to the front. <sighs> so, a lot of labor, but it's due. So if you have it and you're thinking about it, don't think about it anymore, go ahead and do it. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. Okay, it's time for the buffing work, all right? So what I'm using is, is a buffing pad, and I'm using a buffing pad with a, a 3M restoring uh, rubbing compound for heavy activation. Just make sure it says marine. And then for the finish, I'm using um, Sketch Guard Marine Liquid Wax. So uh, this is for your final. Once you do your 800 grid, you know, you do the wet sandpaper, you do the 800 grid, and then you use this. This is like a fine uh, sandpaper, uh, liquid sandpaper, I guess you want to call it. back now you go back with where's the pad and you get you get the look look at wax and you go ahead and give it a final touch I'm not doing the whole boat because it was waxed previously that's why you guys notice it's shiny so I'm just doing the parts that that I did with the you know, with the, with the sandpaper and the rubbing and stuff on the rubbing compound. So, that's why I'm only doing this. So you guys have it, you see? It's not, it's pretty easy. You could do it yourself. Just gotta have the willpower. And yes, you are gonna get tired. And yes, your arms, shoulders, back, everything is gonna hurt. Because last night, went to sleep early. And, uh, I was tired, so it is a tiring job. back with uh, a cotton cloth uh, and you go ahead and wipe off excessive wax that you see I mean this is a process that you could do a few times if you see some areas need more than others so you know so if you see you know if you see some parts are still kind of rough you go back and do it again you know it's a multi-step process like you guys notice you guys remember that black line that I had that it was annoying to me. Now it's all gone. And now I just have to keep buffing. And make it work. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, yes, it is a hard laboring process, but you can do it. You can do it, it's not that bad. You can do it. So thank you guys. And guys, hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'd like to thank everybody, everybody for all the great birthday wishes that they gave me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. You know, thank you guys, it was really appreciated. And you know how it is, once you get a certain age, you don't really celebrate your birthday as you used to. So, uh, spend, you know, I spend the day doing my thing and maybe I go out on the weekend. And then if I do, you guys will know about it because I'll bring you guys along for the ride. So thank you guys, see you later.